Hey guys, it's Drew again. So I wanted to show a kind of unique piece that I have in my collection. It's actually the oldest thing that I have that's baseball related in my collection. And um, it's not the, the greatest of story of how I got it. I honestly wanted it at an auction and nobody else bid against me. So I got it for only 19 bucks. So maybe that's the deal. Um, but it's more about just the coolness factor of it. It's something that uh, a lot of people don't see, uh, especially in the realm of what we do, that sort of golden age, uh, 50s, 60s, and, and more current stuff. Um, usually pre-war people uh, and collectors like that are the ones that are more familiar with this sort of thing. But the, the, the piece is, uh, it's over 140 years old, and um, it's just super cool. So I'm going to show you a close-up of it, show you what it is, kind of talk a little bit about the process of how it came, and uh, sort of my spin on it on what I did uh, for display because, you know, it's all about display. If you own it, you got to look at it. So let's take a peek at it and, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, so this is the thing that I was talking about. It's called a Harper's Woodcut. We'll talk about a little bit more of its history and where it came from. But as far as the date, you can zoom in right here. And this was actually printed, as you can see, September 12th, 1874 which is just incredible to think that something is almost 150 years old and I happen to own it. But uh, what it is, is it was printed in a, uh, basically a weekly newspaper called Harper's Weekly out of New York. And uh, you may be familiar with them, but what they did was these, these uh, prints that they would include called woodcuts. And the reason they were called woodcuts is they would take an artist who would sketch out uh, a scene of something it actually started back with the Civil War where they would uh, dispatch different um, artists out to different battles and they would sketch out things they saw and then post Civil War they just did other things including portraits and things but this one is uh, of a baseball game uh, it says it's between the Red Stockings and the Athletics and yeah up in New England but anyway it doesn't necessarily show anyone prominent, but as you can see, the artistry on it is really cool. So what they would do is they would dispatch a, a um, artist who would sketch it out, and then they would take the sketch, and they hired wood carvers, and they would carve out the image in negative form on a block of wood. And by doing that, it gave them a template of something that they could use and then uh, for the printing press. They'd roll ink on it, print it off, and uh, eventually the wood itself would deteriorate from all the printing. But they were only using it for the, uh, the one image. And then they would go on to the next one because they had another publication to put out. Uh, mine is, uh, it's actually a really nice example for the most part, it's not torn up on the edges. There's one little corner missing and a couple little things on this side. Um, as you can see from the distance, there's uh, actually water damage on it, which is rather unfortunate. Um, and I guess the only story part of my story on this one is I actually did that wood. I mean, that um, water damage. I made this case that you see out of it. Just I used some old wood. And, uh, and, and sandwiched it between some glass and it was hanging on a wall and years ago we had a leak in our roof in a storm and the some water had run down and got, actually gotten in between it. So when I actually received this and like I mentioned I only paid $19 for it there was no water damage but I did it so super unfortunate however maybe it just makes it look old. But one of the fun things about this piece that I like is um, when I made it, or made the display for it, I put it on two sides of glass so you could see the actual printing like a newspaper that would be on the back. And um, there's just different things. There's some obituaries. Um, there's some scientific knowledge, just different little articles or whatever. But one of the things I think is funny is humors of the day. Because you know what? I like a good joke. So let's see... Let's see what kind of humor there was back in 1874. Uh, this one is one of my personal favorite ones. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, right here. The latest instance of like curling, like is an announcement by a Western veterinarian surgeon that brandy is a remedy for the staggers. <laughs> oh man, those, those, uh, those guys really knew how to... 
cut it up. But anyway, um, yeah, just a cool piece overall. And uh, I figured I'd show it off. It's a little different. Um, normally it's hanging on a wall, but I took it down so I can kind of flip it over and show you guys. But yeah, 1874 and um, definitely the oldest piece in my baseball collection. And uh, just thought you guys might enjoy something a little different. Anyway, tell me what you got. What do you have uh, that's just kind of different or cool or, or super old? Maybe that's not a card. Although, man, I love 19th century cards. But do you have anything like this? Do you have anything that's, uh, that's old? I don't know. Anyway, if you do, share it with everybody. Let's see what you got. And uh, anyway, until next time, you guys be good.